Good day, good people. Phaedra Dion here. Thanks for joining me for another video here on the SVG Toots YouTube channel. A recent commenter asked the following. If I import an SVG or PNG, do I have to flatten as well for it not to cut out each line? My reply, PNGs are by default flat files. SVGs can be either flat or layered. So what does that look like? Let's go in to Cricut Design Space. So I am in Cricut Design Space and I know it looks a little blurry. I am using a remote computer to access this version of my Cricut Design Space because this is my free version. And I like to use my free version, as I always say, because not everybody has the cost of Cricut Access in their budget. So please let me know in the comments if the blurriness is distracting. I am going to go to Canvas and let me show you the free file that I got from Creative Fabrica for this tutorial. So this is a free file from Creative Fabrica if you want to follow along and we're going to use this heart right here. And when I scroll down, it tells me you will receive each heart in the following format, SVG file, transparent, PNG, EPS, and DXF. So the two files we're concerned with are the SVG file and the transparent PNG. And just FYI, they say transparent PNG because as of late, people have been making non-transparent PNGs, but the claim to fame of a PNG is that the background is transparent. That is why you want to use PNG as opposed to JPG or JPEG. That's why it's saying transparent PNG because you can save a PNG file without the background being transparent, but when PNG came on the scene, it was so that your background could be transparent, which cannot happen with a JPEG or JPG file. So I'm going to put this, a link to this free item on Creative Fabrica in the description so you can do this with me if you like. I am going to go to Upload File and I'll click on Upload Image and Browse. And here is my folder for the set of 12 hand-drawn hearts. Now, when you download this from Creative Fabrica, it's going to be in a zip. So you will need to unzip it if you're on a PC. And I believe on Mac, it just unzips it automatically. So just be aware that I went ahead and unzipped mine to save time. So I'm going to double click in on the folder and I'm just going to go into heart one. And let's bring in the PNG first because... As I mentioned in my reply to the commenter, PNGs are flat by nature. So I'll just open that. And it's a simple design, but I just bring mine in complex because everybody seems to do it that way. And it just makes sense to me to do it that way. So you see all these little boxes behind here, the gray and white boxes, that is letting you know that's a transparent background. So we're gonna choose apply and continue. And we can either bring it in to cut it or we can bring it in to print and cut so I'm gonna choose print and cut and then I'm going to upload now don't be concerned if it takes a while for your image to upload so I'm gonna click on the upload it and I'm gonna add to canvas and as you can see there's no black stroke or black border around any of this but you can see the canvas through the white spots of of the design. I just want you to keep that in mind. So this was the PNG and it's telling us it's too big for print and cut. So I'm going to auto resize the image so that it'll fit on, fit on print and cut, but I can just make it smaller. And then let's go back to upload, upload image, browse, 
This time, let's get the SVG. Again, don't be concerned if it takes a while for it to upload. Sometimes that happens. Now notice with the SVG, we did not get the option to do print and cut. We only have the option to upload as a cut image. So I'm going to click upload and I am going to click the uploaded image and then add to canvas. And a couple of things you should notice here. One, it didn't bring it in as huge as it brought in the PNG. And you can probably see that there is a border or stroke around every little bitty thing in the SVG that we brought in. And it's just a flat object. It's not layered, but it's telling us that it's going to cut out everywhere you see this black line. Now, I picked this because even though this is already flattened, because it's transparent, which means there's no color back there, the Cricut is also going to cut out every single piece of nothing that it sees. So what I did before I started this part of the tutorial is I went ahead and I did the print and cut. So I printed it and you can see here what it looks like. Side by side, they don't look any different. And after the print and cut, this is what it looked like. See this mess? That's because the PNG is transparent. So in order for me not to get everything cut out of this first one, and even the second one, what I have to do is I have to put an offset behind it. So I'm going to go to offset and I'm going to make the offset pretty tiny. Let's go 0. 0, 1. And I'm going to click apply. And this is my offset. So what I have to do now is I have to go into my offset and contour. Now you can't contour a print and cut. So we have to make this a basic cut and then our contour button will come alive. Then we'll click on contour and we'll say hide all contours. That will leave us with this. And then we will click X and now we have the solid. So I am going to hold down control in our command and I'm going to click my first heart. And I'm going to put these back together with a line in center. Okay, I also want to go to my offset and I'm doing that in the layers panel. And I'm going to make it white because I don't want my printer to actually print any color. I just don't want that when it cuts, that it cuts out every little thing because there's transparency in the design. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go back to my offset and I'm gonna make it a print and cut because I can do that now. Then I'm gonna go to heart one here, which is my PNG and I'll just name it heart PNG. I'm going to click on both of these together and then I'm going to flatten them. And what's going to happen is when they print, it'll just print around. I'm sorry, it'll just, it'll print it, but then it'll just cut the outline of my heart. It won't cut in the middle. With the SVG that I brought in, I'm going to choose print and cut also. And notice it goes flat, but I still have that same issue with needing to put something behind behind it so that it's not transparent. So again, I'll go to offset and I don't want it to be that big because I don't really want the white offset all the way around. I just don't want it to cut everything in the middle. So I'll click apply and I'll change my offset to basic cut because that's the only way I can get the contours. And then I will say hide all contours or I'll click hide all contours. And now I have this orange 
part. What I want to do is I want to turn it white because I don't want it to, to be all orange. Then I'm going to turn this basic cut back to a printing cut and then I'm going to flatten these two together. So this one is my PNG that I brought in and this one is my SVG. And I'm not sure if you can tell but the color for the SVG is a little lighter than the color for the PNG. Now when it prints they may be exactly the same. I just noticed that. I didn't actually notice that before when I was prepping this lesson. But this is what we want. We want to have everything flattened down so that when we choose make it, I'll attach them both. And when we choose make it and we go to our printer, it will print all of this with our registration marks. But when it cut, it'll just cut around the hearts, not around the little dots and the curves. I don't know about you, but I get annoyed when I watch a video tutorial and the person doing the video tutorial does something simple like what I just did. And I'm like, but wait, what, what about if it's something that isn't one whole thing? So to that end, let's do another of these with a little bit more complex design. So I found another freebie. This one says one cute chick SUV, but it also has a PNG and some other file types. We are only concerned with the SVG and the PNG. I will make sure to link this in the video description. And again, this one is also free. So if you want to follow along, it doesn't cost you anything but a little bit of time. All right, so let's go to upload. Let's go to upload image. Let's go to browse. And I am going to back out of this. And I'm going to go into one cute chick SVG. And I'm going to upload the PNG first. And I'm going to make it complex and continue. And you can see the grid in the back, the white and gray boxes, because this is already transparent. So I'm going to click apply and continue. And again, with the PNG, I'm getting the option to either cut the image or to print, then cut the image. So I'm going to choose the print and cut because that's what I want. And I'm going to upload. Again, it may take some time to upload your image, but it's totally fine. So we will choose it and then add it to the canvas. And it is going to come in ginormous. And I'm going to go up to size and I'm going to bring it down to five inches in width. And notice again, no black borders or strokes because this is a flat PNG. By default, PNGs are flat. But because PNGs also have transparent backgrounds, I am going to need to put an offset around this in order for it to just cut around everything and not cut out everything separately. Let's go back to upload, upload image, browse, and we're going to get the SVG of that same file. And notice again, we only get the option to cut the image. So I'm going to choose upload. We don't even have to choose whether it has a transparent background. I'm going to load it up and add it to the canvas. It's going to come in ginormous also. So I am going to change it to five inches in width and I'll scooch it over next to the other one. Now notice the difference here. This is the only layer for the PNG, again, because PNGs are flat by default. But when you go to the SVG and you click on the carrot pointing to the right, notice all these little pieces that make up this SVG. So again, SVGs can be layered or they can be one layer or flat. But as far as Cricut Design Space is concerned, if you bring something in as an SVG, you're going to get all these little different layers. And even if it's just one layer, you're still going to get all of these different borders around every little bitty thing to cut 
after you do print and cut. So I'm going to click on the group layer and I'm going to go to basic cut and then I'm going to go to print and cut and it flattened everything. It's telling me we're just going to cut what you see here. But again, remember it's transparent. So we still need an offset. So I'm going to go here to offset and I'm going to let this one be 0.25 and I'm going to click apply. Now, I need to change my offset from print and cut to basic and I do that so that I can get my contours and then I'm going to click contour and I'm going to remove all contours because I want it to be solid and I'm going to click the X here and I'll go up to my basic cut here and change it to white and then I'll go back and turn it to print and cut. And notice my border goes away. So now what's going to happen is once I flatten my offset with all the layers that are in the SVG, I'm gonna have just one layer. This is really important, especially if you have a bunch of layers. You wanna get it down to where it's just one. Okay, no matter how many layers you have, you wanna get it down to just one. And then we can do the same thing over here, offset, apply, go to basic to get the uh, contour option, hide all contours, and then we'll click X, and then we will turn it white, and we'll go to print and cut, and we need to take both these layers together and flatten them. And so when I attach these and make it, telling me it's too large. I'm going to click on my image too large and I'm just going to have it auto resize and then I'm going to go to make it. And now when I do the print and cut, it's just going to cut around the outside of everything for each one of these. That is a difference between importing a PNG and an SVG into Cricut Design Space. PNGs are flat by default but they're also transparent most of the time. Now you can you can save a PNG without it being transparent and it will already have a background. So you don't have to put an offset on it. But by nature, PNGs should be transparent. That's what makes them different from JPGs or JPEGs. When you have an SVG, you're going to be bringing in layers. Even if it's just one layer, uh, Cricut Design Space is going to see it as you want to cut out every single thing. If you have questions, leave me a comment. If you have comments, leave me a comment. And if you need help, definitely leave me a comment. And thank you so much for watching.